So using, again, the green moss, although trees are covered in moss, they're very green, don't use brown, avoid brown. So now I'm going to press the tinted charcoal into the paper. Now, if I want to block in tone, I'll use the charcoal and then blend, but I want to create some texture on this. I'm going to put some darks on as well, but I'm going to use the side of the pencil and then I'm going to drag the pencil out so that I get the shape of the branches really created for me with the shape of the pencil. It's all to do with the amount of pressure I'm applying. So as I turn the pencil, I get little narrow twigs or I get wide branches. Lock in with the side and then this side as well. So press and then just pull, press and pull and you'll get lots of little twigs. Now if I want a little bit more detail and I'm going over the distant foliage, I'm just going to turn the pencil as I'm producing the twigs. So just let the pencil do the work for you. And you can see I'm holding the pencil quite differently. So continuing just to press against the paper and turning the pencil to get as many little twigs as you can. This will add a fullness. Now you can blend those. You can see you can blend and then you can put more on the top. Don't blend too much, otherwise it'll all just look misty and it'll, it, you want it to look different from the background. Now we can start putting a little bit of the foreground in. We want there to be a grasses here, so I'm going to start to flick up with the pencil. So using the point, flick the colour up. I'm going to have a nice bank of grass here. So again, it's creating texture and you can still blend. You'll still see all the little marks you've made. And then you can put